What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got the statics problem today. So we have the shape here, and we're trying to find the moment of inertia around the x-axis, right? So if this is the x-axis, we're trying to find the moment of inertia as if we were spinning that around the x-axis. So let's get started. So basically what we have here is we have an equation. So an equation to solve this is the moment of inertia around the x-axis is what we're doing, is equal to the integral over the area, right? So we're integrating over the area of the shape, y squared dA. So this is our integral, and this is not how we're going to solve it yet. We need to continue to solve this. So the integral a dA can be expanded further, and we need to make sure that it's y in here. So what we want to do is we want to expand this dA into something that relates to dy. So let's uh, expand this further. So it's going to be the integral, and let's find out what our bounds are. So this y squared is going to stay. But we want dy because if we're doing inter or the uh, moment around the moment of inertia around the x-axis, we want to integrate with respect to dy because we have this dy out here. It's going to be pretty much most of the time until we want to do it. So if we're going to integrate with respect to dy, well, so each dy is you know an increment up this way. So if this is dy, we need to find uh, x dy because x dy is the area, right? So if area is equal to x y dA is equal to x dy. So we have this equation here. So now we have dA is becoming dy, and we need to find what x is. So when we're integrating with respect to dy, we're moving up this way, but we're coming off the y-axis. So what we're finding is this length, right? But we want to find this length. This is the actual length we want to find. So to find this length, what we actually want to do is we want to take the entire area, so it's one across, so it's going to be one across and then we're going to subtract whatever x is. So 1 minus x. Because, right, this is x. This is wherever x far we are. And then this is 1. So if we take 1 minus x, we're just going to be left at this distance in here. So we can substitute in 1 minus x and then dy for area. So if we're integrating with respect to y, how far is dy? So dy goes from 0 to 1, because that's the bound, so it's 0 to 1. So now we have an x and a y in our integral, and we can't solve this, so we need to go further and simplify this. So what is x, right? So we need to find x in terms of y. So luckily, we're given this right here. So if we want to find x in terms of y, all we're going to do, we're going to take y to the third is equal to x squared, and we're going to take the square root. So it's going to be square root of y to the third is equal to x. So this can be simplified as y as 3 over 2 is equal to x. So we're going to put that right in here. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1, y squared, 1 minus, and then x becomes y to the 3 halves dy. So now we can solve this integral. So now it's really just down to calc 1. Uh, let's go ahead and solve it. So of course, we want to expand out. So expanding outward, 0 to 1. So the y squared is going to get distributed. And then this is going to go here. So we're going to add the exponents, right? So it's going to be four halves plus three halves, so it's going to be y to the seven halves dy. All right, so then we are going to integrate this. So this becomes one third y to the three, right, minus, then two ninths y to the nine halves. And this is from zero to one. So plugging it in, you're just going to get one third minus two ninths. Right? And this simplifies down to one ninth. So I of x, moment of inertia around the x-axis is 1 ninth, and then the units is meters to the fourth, because that's our units. So there you go. So that's how you solve this problem. It's just about setting up the integral correctly. It's kind of like calc 3, calc 1. It's like all of that kind of combined into a statics problem. So cool. Uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos if you have any questions on this topic, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.